Hi, and welcome to 5th and K's presentation on markups. We're going to be using eCopy PDF Pro Office. This is the latest iteration. This is the upgrade from Paperworks. Paperworks was the upgrade from eCopy desktop software. So as the flow goes, most recently, historically, over the past five years, it was eCopy desktop software, which was discontinued for eCopy Paperworks, which was discontinued for eCopy PDF Pro Office. The most current version of eCopy PDF Pro Office is version 6.2. Today's tutorial is on markups. The number one question we get is where is the markup? Where are the markups that we were used to in eCopy Paperworks and eCopy Desktop Software? First off and foremost, you need to follow steps uh, or step one to set up your toolbar accordingly. Right, so if you haven't done that, go back to ecopysoftware.com, click on tips and tricks, and set up your toolbar accordingly. Uh, you'll see the recording there. All right, so wherever you see a down arrow, there's additional functionality. This line, for instance, right to the right of the line, is a down arrow. That line represents you creating arrows. Let's go ahead and click once on it. Let's go ahead and click, hold, and drag, and create a line. Watch my mouse real closely here. I know it's probably a little bit small, but as I hover over that line, it turns to an arrow. It's a cross, turns to an arrow. This is where I'm going to do a right mouse click. Right mouse click. And once I do a right mouse click, that's going to invoke a properties. I'm going to left mouse click on properties. And now I have a properties menu here. And to create an arrow, I'm just going to go open end. And to increase the thickness of the arrow, I can go four point. And I probably want to go three point. And I've got my arrow. I'm going to close. I'm going to hover over that arrow again. Right mouse click, left mouse click on set properties. So now I don't have to change the line setup anymore. I've just got it set up for arrows. To move that arrow around, just click, hold, drag, and there's my arrow. To get another arrow, just go up the line, click, hold, drag, and go up the line, click, hold, drag. And now I've got a whole bunch of arrows. So the line tool is your arrow tool. That's part of the markup structure. Rectangle, again I'm clicking on the down arrow, rectangle, click, hold, drag. That's your white out. So your arrow is your line, and we set it up accordingly. Rectangle is white out. And then you have the other uh, tools here as well. Interestingly enough, the pencil tool, if you have eCopy PDF Pro Office volume licensing set up in a server, and you have iPads, and you have the iPad app that pulls up applications from the server, you can actually have a document open on your iPad vis-a-vis eCopy PDF Pro Office, and since the iPad is touchscreen, you can actually use the pencil tool to sign documents with your finger. That's pretty cool. Back to markups. Highlight, you have a down arrow, click on highlight. Click hold drag, whoops. I just want to highlight an area. Let's go ahead and hit the undo. Love the undo. Got the undo going. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Highlight area. And there's your highlight. To change the color of the highlight, hover over the box you just created. Right mouse click, left mouse click on properties. And then this color right here represents changing the line color. This is the fill color. Let's go ahead and close. And let's recap for these markups. The line tool is your arrow. The rectangle tool you'd use for whiteout. The highlight area tool you use for highlight area. And those effectively are your markups. And that concludes our presentation on markups. Uh, we're going to do another presentation on just the text box itself, which replaces whiteout and the typewriter tool. I'm not showing you the typewriter tool in this tutorial because the text box actually eliminates the need for the typewriter tool, which sits right over here. These toolbars, by the way, can be moved. I can hold, click, hold, and drag on that chain link. There's my typewriter right there. But once again, 
pretty much it's uh, been um, sunset if you will or legacied because of the text box I'll show you that in the next video this concludes our presentation on markups to buy this eCopy software program, you can go to www.ecopysoftware.com. You have single users at 169. You have five packs, 10 packs, 20 packs, 30 packs. You can buy them one license, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. You can buy one license all the way up to 10,000 users. Thank you very much from the owners of Fifth and K. And this is what we do every day. Thank you.